Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. We are on our second video in the series where we are showing you every step of our cruise aboard the Disney Wish. We have so many fun things along with tons of tips, tricks, and recommendations for anyone wanting to sail on a Disney cruise. So don't forget to hit that subscribe, like, and notification buttons to catch up on all our upcoming videos. Today is an incredibly exciting day because we are getting on board the Disney Wish, the newest edition of the Disney Cruise Line fleet. We can't wait to show you all the amazing things this ship has to offer. First things first, we're headed straight to the atrium. Just look at this magnificent space. The grandeur and attention to detail are simply breathtaking. It's like stepping into a fairy tale, and that's because the Imagineers took elements from Cinderella to inspire the creation of most of the elements of this stunning grand entrance. After that, our next stop is Marceline's Market. We are all so famished after waiting at the terminal to board, and this buffet-style restaurant has a fantastic array of delicious foods. But first, we have to make it there. We kept getting distracted by all the amazing things that we were seeing just wandering through the hallways. We were even enthralled with just what the elevators looked like. It was really a beautiful ship and there was always somebody around every corner to help us and guide us on our way to find this place. It sparkles. Everything's oh, man, so sparkly really and pretty. Those buttons. Huh? The buttons are like super sensitive. Yeah. Just drag your finger down all of them. Doors closing. I got out and touch them. You're so rude. After boarding, this is where most people are going to stop since the rooms aren't ready yet until about 3 in the afternoon. We of course found a table next to a view of the ocean and discovered all the things that this place has to offer. They have something for everyone, from American food to treats from around the world. I think the Indian food was my personal favorite. Now that our hunger has been satisfied, it's time to head down the slide to the Oceaneers Club. This place is a dream come true for kids ages 3 to 11. They have themed rooms for Star Wars, Disney Princesses, the World of Marvel, the Imagineering Lab, and even on where you can build theme park rides and ride your own creation. It's like stepping into different magical worlds. The girls had to get checked in down at the Oceaneers Club to be able to come in and out. But once they were checked in, we headed around to explore this amazing place. nursery we also check out in a moment and this is for little tiny babies where they have cribs and they have all kinds of people to take care of your tiniest little people that you want to take on the Disney wish with you but this is an extra charge all the other kids club teen club tween club are all included in the price of your Disney cruise except for the small world nursery 
this is uh, extra charge and you're going to have to actually book this ahead of time so that way they know that you're coming. So um, definitely check that out if you have a tiny little one. This place is so cool. It is themed perfectly to just every inch, every detail is just exactly like you're on a spaceship. So it's really neat. Even like if you look in the cracks on the ceiling and everything is like a ship. There's wires and all kinds of duct work, all kinds of cool stuff. It's pretty sweet. While we're wandering around the amazing Oceaneers Club, I wanted to do a quick plug for our travel agent. She's definitely a Disney pro and helped us every step of the way to make all of our Disney vacations super magical. And she really knows her stuff. It's not an extra charge to be able to contact her and have her plan your vacation because she's paid by Disney. So definitely check her out. She has helped us with every single vacation through Disney and some that aren't through Disney that you can take with her planning your vacation as well. So hit her up, check her out and see how magical she can make your trip. Now that the kids are checked in at the Oceaneers Club, we're off to check in the twins at the Tween Club. This cool space is great for those kids who aren't quite teens yet, but want a space away from the little ones. Since they're 11 years old now, they are able to come. But since Willow was still nine at the time, she hadn't turned 10 yet, she was not allowed to join her sisters. But that's okay, there was plenty for Willow to do down in the Oceaneers Club while her big sisters were over at the Tween Edge Club. Now for the part I was most excited about, let's check out our extended balcony veranda room. This is our home away from home for this trip and the view was absolutely stunning. There's so many things that make this room a spacious and luxurious place to be. This room is top notch. Since this is our second cruise, we are silver members of the Castaway Club, which means with each subsequent cruise, we get a welcome gift. Since this is their 25th anniversary cruise at sea, we have updated bags and all kinds of cool new lanyards. And this is actually a wet bag as well. We took it on plenty of those beach trip excursions. The bathrooms are separate from each other. So you get a shower room and a toilet room, which is fantastic when you have larger groups like us. This balcony was probably my favorite part and I really wanted to make sure that we had time to eat breakfast on the balcony. So one of the mornings we ordered room service and ate it outside with our beautiful ocean view. Not only are the bathrooms amazing just because they're separate, there's tons of space and tons of mirrors. I love all the lighting and also um, the places to put things on the walls. They really thought of everything. Also, the H2O Plus products are still there, which makes my heart so happy since I absolutely love these products. I wish I could take them home with me. The toilet room also had a nightlight, which was fantastic. It's so echoey, it's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> that was so awesome. Bring a tear to my eye. Mm. 
We still had some time before our luggage arrived, so we headed down to the pool for some ice cream and fun in the sun. The Disney Wish has amazing pools and a interactive water slide. It's the perfect way to relax and enjoy the afternoon. After we were done splashing around at the pool, it was time to get ready for dinner. We're dining at the 1923 restaurant, which is themed after the 1920s when Walt Disney started his company. It's a classy and elegant experience and the ambiance is incredible. It truly feels like we've traveled back in time. The menu looks so delicious and since there are five of us dining, we were able to try almost everything. And since they are small bites, it doesn't leave us feeling miserable after dinner each night. Someone at our table was always able to find something that they loved. After dinner, we were pleasantly surprised to find that the room attendant had already turned down the room for bedtime. It's such a thoughtful service and it's really a part of that Disney touch. The kids headed to the kids club after that and we went out for some mom and dad fun. The shops were open now, but they were packed. So we took a peek and then headed on our way to explore more of the ship. Caleb is such a huge Star Wars enthusiast. So of course we had to check out the Star Wars themed bar called the Hyperspace. It's the ideal spot for Star Wars enthusiasts to immerse themselves in a galaxy far, far away. Later on, we made our way to the Bayou Cocktail Lounge that is themed after the movie The Princess and the Frog, one of my favorites. 
We'll treat ourselves to some beignets and a smoked old fashioned while enjoying the soothing, beautiful atmosphere. Before we call it a night, we're up for a challenge, Star Wars trivia. Although I have to admit we got our butts kicked, but hey, it was all about fun and making memories. That about wraps up our incredible day on the Disney Wish, and we hope you enjoyed this vlog and got a glimpse of the magic that this ship has to offer. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video because we have so much more to show you, including excursions where we had a blast swimming and snorkeling and checking out the sea life in the Bahamas. Stay tuned for more and don't forget to stay adventurous.